because Finnish is isn't Finnish English like the word Finnish and Suomi is Finnish bro I'm actually losing my mind right now isn't Suomi Finnish hey guys welcome back to the channel uh as you guys do or do not know I do live in Finland so uh if you are new to the channel this is my personal channel uh that uh, shares my journey with my life here in Finland so uh if you are not subscribed Please do subscribe and uh, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be checking out a video titled Finland, what not to do in Finland. So obviously I live here. I've been here for five months, I think. And uh, I should be able to co-sign or say garbage or not garbage to whatever my buddy right here has to say. So um, we're going to get right into this video, guys. So thank you for watching. Let's get right into this video. Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World and today we are here in Turku, Finland in front of the Turku Castle. The uh, Turku, Turku, I would say Turku. <laughs> And today what we have for you are the don'ts of visiting Finland because there's some things you should not do when you come here. There's a tons of... <laughs> Bro, I gotta travel Finland. I, I obviously see it right here. I like, I'm 12 seconds in this video and I'm losing my mind already, bro. Like what? Dude, look how different it looks. Like, North Finland looks like America. It's simple as that. I've said it. I've said it. It's like the, the Amer it's like small version of America. But look at the North. Look at the South. It looks like Europe. Dude, I'm losing my mind. There's no way that North Finland and South Finland looks entirely different. It's just impossible. Stuff you should do, you know, like eating anything with mushrooms and, and having a good time and going to sauna and things like that. But there's some things you don't do when you're here and, and that's what we're going to focus on today. And the first don't I have for you for coming to Finland is don't be loud. Look, the Finns Ow! are a quiet people. They're a reserved people. It's also very quiet all the time. So do remember that when you're going around. Especially if you've got kids like mine that are really rambunctious and they're enjoying all this outdoor weather and all kinds of tasty candies. Well, certain kind of candies, just, just know don't be loud when you are here, okay? <laughs> now, anyway, the second don't I'll say to you is don't insult the Finnish pride. Look, the Finns love their country, and one of the things they love the most is the sauna. And one way to insult a Finn is to call it a sauna. No, it's a sauna, okay? So make sure you get sauna right, okay? Don't call it sauna. And when you go to the sauna, our third don't... Yeah. I, 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 yeah. Yeah. You just gotta... I think... I think it's important to know the origin of things and um, act accordingly whenever you go to that specific place. So if it's, if you know, you grew up in America, whatever you say, sauna, I don't even know how to say it like that anymore. But, um, and you find out it's a Finnish uh, uh, creation or whatever you want to call it. And you find out that it's not how you've been saying it. That's not how it's supposed to be said. You know, when you go to Finland, you got to fix that up because, yeah, they probably get mad at you. I doubt it. <laughs> I honestly doubt it. Is don't be modest. Look, you are going to go in the buck on natural route when you go to the sauna, okay? And there's some rules about it when you go there. One, if you're going to be the, the naked one, is usually it's, it's going to be a male only or female only sauna. That's when you do that. If you don't want to, it's okay. You can wear your towel and stuff like that. It is pretty normal when you do, they do that, but you know, don't be modest. Don't go with your full bodysuit or your, your swim trunks. It's kind of like a faux pas when you are here, okay? Now, our fourth don't for you is when you come here, don't get too scared by the language. Look, Finnish is impossible, okay? I'm not going to lie to you. When I came to live here in the 90s when I was a high school student, they told us before, like to all the exchange students, look, everyone will learn the language everywhere they go except for two places, Japan and Finland. You all are screwed, okay? The language is pretty difficult and you might not be able to make out many of the things here, but that's okay. You don't have to worry about it because, well, Every, not everybody, but a lot of people speak English here very well, so you will be okay with that. But having said that, don't skip out on learning a few Finnish words before you come. Kitos is thank you. Huvapaeva is like good day. Another one, you know, might be helpful is like yes, it's kula. You know, so there are some words that can make things a little bit easier, like mina haluan, I want. And so that can help because, man, Finnish is tough. They don't have the prepositions. It's like at the end. So like Turku is the city I'm in. But if you're in the city, you say 
Turusa. If you're, if it's Turku's castle, it's Turun. Dude, it, it's so impossibly difficult. My mind is melting from 20 years ago thinking of- But he doing good though. I ain't gonna lie, that, that's pretty good. About this, so don't worry too much about it, okay? And you'll be like, why are there so many eyes? It's just the way it is, okay? <laughs> now my next don't for you is, don't freak out when the signs change. This is something I've talked about in a few change. videos, but in Ooh, Finland, it's actually Finnish and Swedish are both the official languages. So the signs will have both Finnish and English. And sometimes you'll hear one thing going, oh, you're going to Turku, but then you're like, oh, now we're arriving in Obu. You're like, what, Obu? <laughs> Obu? I thought we were going to- Okay, I get, I, get, I, get, I get what you're saying. I get it. I, so you're telling me that Turku is Obu in, fin in Swedish? That's actually something I had never imagined. I, that's 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 crazy like i i i honestly would have never imagined that because to think about it like finland well maybe maybe swedish has a word maybe the swedish language does have a word for finland wait isn't because finnish is isn't finnish english like the word finnish and suome is finnish Bro, I'm actually losing my mind right now. Isn't Suomi Finnish? And Finnish is English. Like the word Finnish, F-I-N-N-N-I-S-H, Finnish. Isn't that English? Bro, I'm confused. <laughs> It's the same city, okay? So don't freak out when that does happen. Also, kind of going along with that, with the Swedes and the Scandinavian stuff and things like that, if you meet like, you know, Swedes and Norwegian and say you're going to Finland to see more of Scandinavia, don't call Finland Scandinavia to like Swedes and Norwegians because they get all, well, that's not on the Scandinavian Peninsula. So they're not Scandinavian, they're Nordic. Yeah, okay, so just, just a heads up for that one. When you're talking to non Finns about it, okay? Another thing you don't do when you're here is you don't compare Sweden and Finland in a way that makes Sweden seem like the winner. And there's two reasons why I really want to focus on here. Don't do that. Don't do that. I love Sweden. I love Finland. I've never been to Sweden, but I live in Finland. But yeah, don't try to make Sweden seem like they're better than Finland to the Finns because yeah, that's not gonna be a lot, uh, you know, mm, yeah. Why you don't do that? And they both start with H. One is history. Finland was controlled by Sweden for a long time. You still have a lot of influence in here, but also hockey and they love their hockey here. So don't say Swedish hockey is better than Finnish because it's not. Duh. And if you're here in Turku, go to a tipsy game. I used to go to those all the time when I lived here. Always good hockey when you are here. But yeah, don't compare it to Sweden because no one's going to enjoy that. No, you're not going to get anything out of that one, okay? Uh, unless you have some good Swedish jokes, then you can make some friends. Now, if you do make those friends and you do go to their house, don't wear your shoes inside their house. It's very rude to wear your shoes inside houses here in Finland. So make sure you take those off when you come in. People might give you slippers or, or, or house shoes or stuff like that or not, but you just don't wear shoes in the house. Also, when you go to their house, don't forget to bring a small gift, maybe some candies or some flowers. We're going to my old host family tonight. I'm going to bring, you know, we got a bottle of wine and some chocolates. Just bring. Some I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, that's only if you were visiting Finland off. <laughs> course imagine visiting your family and something or friends every day you got a sweet nod nah. so if you are not Finnish and you're watching this video he I he may not say it that way for you to understand clearly but he only means if you're visiting he doesn't like visiting in a like you know like a it's it's a uh one time in a long time you know what I mean so it's not a frequent thing because yeah when you come you know because it's just kind of a nice thing to do now going along with that candy theme um there's another don't i have for you is don't eat don't the eat black candies. samiaki candy when you're here it's like uh, it's like really salty black licorice candy oh it's uh, they love it here it's all over the place but unless you're used to it it can be a bit powerful for some people so so don't get the samiaki or, or get one and try it but, but don't buy a bag, okay? I've made that mistake before, okay? Buy the under candy. There's so many, other, so much other candy here that's good, but the, the Samyaki, blah, just, just stay away from it, okay? Wow. But you could get a bag of it and give it to your friend as a gift when you go to their house. That would be nice, but yeah. Foreigners aren't really big on the Samyaki. It's just, it's horrible. 
horrible. I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate when I am here because that's like questioning Finnish pride with a Salmiaki. And that's another thing I will say with the Finnish pride, you know, Salmiaki is one of those things, but also, you know, hockey, but also the relationship with some of the countries around here, like Sweden and Russia and stuff. I know with uh, with my kids, we've had, you know, videos in Finland where my son's wearing his, his Zenith St. Petersburg soccer jersey. And they mentioned that. I'm like, he's six and you're, you're calling out his jersey because he was having fun in Finland with a Russian jersey. So you do have some of these little things there. So you do want to watch out for that. It's not a really a big that's crazy deal but just kind of one of those little don'ts you might want to look into now for my succulent tourists and some of the other tourists who get upset when they don't get all their change back you don't use the one or two cent coins here in finland you might have something that comes out to nine what what is what is this what is, is this actually in finland is like do you see that big ass i don't even know what to call that is that finland is this in finland 98 cents they're not going to give you your two cents back okay they round up the numbers and things like that so there's no one or two so don't get upset by that also for certain sex line and tourists um i would say is don't steal the moose signs okay i remember there was a big thing when i used to live here the, the tourists would come up here and they steal the moose signs don't do that okay it's not good okay so so try to avoid doing that so some other tourist things you might want to know about in terms of the don'ts is you don't have to tip when you are here in finland the wage is pretty good so that you don't really tip um another don't i have for you is don't disobey the law when you are here the Finns are very much a rule-based society and they you know they they wait for the traffic sign to go across they wait in the lines for their kind of stuff so they really are kind of a kind of by the rules kind of people and by breaking the rules and breaking the law i mean obviously you shouldn't do that anyway is not really appreciated here so don't do that kind of stick with the norms of the people you see here my last little don'ts for you just from a little things um don't forget your bug spray if you're going to be going to the up uh, into the lake district by Tampere and around there I mean there's lakes everywhere but the bugs can be really bad in the summer also yeah don't forget your uh bug spray like no matter what it is um where you're at in Finland just take a bug spray with you as long as it's not winter take a bug spray because in winter the bugs uh you know the mosquitoes they're not you know and they're not there but if it's any time within summer or winter has ended get your spray out don't skip out on the nature trips you can do here whether you're going out to the islands or you're going into the lakes or just hiking and mushroom hunting going around Finns are really great outdoorsmen and stuff like that so don't think you're just going to stay in Helsinki or Turku go out and explore you really enjoy it and also don't forget like a, a jacket or something even in the summertime we're here in June and we've gone from having jackets and jeans to shorts and t-shirts in the same day okay so just FYI for that and I will say don't skip coming to Finland it is a fantastic place very few tourists come here but they really should because you have this beautiful beautiful country with lots of nature uh, it, it, listen i'll say this if you like nature finland is definitely a country you want to visit hence the reason why i love the netherlands as well because it's very interesting but if you are not a nature person uh, you're probably not going to enjoy finland just flat out you're just not going to probably enjoy it because there's not like some extreme like oh my gosh you're a fashion person you got to go to italy or france or one of those countries for that but if you're a nature lover finland is a spot for you sound is to go enjoy people to meet great english it's not as expensive as people think it's going to be i know when you think did he just said finland is not as expensive as people think i live here it's expensive Scandinavia, or sorry, Nordic Europe, you're thinking, oh, it's going to be insanely expensive. Sometimes it, it can is. be, but here in Finland, I've actually been okay with the price when we've been here, especially when you get out of Helsinki, because you go to Tampere, or Turku, or up to Olu, or something like that, Rovaniemi to go to the Arctic Circle, the price is... When you meet somebody who is rich and they say things are cheap, don't listen. He rich. We, you watching this, me, we poor. It's expensive. Compared to American price, it is hella expensive, except for the rent. Not that bad. I mean, it's a little bit higher, but it's nothing extravagantly crazy expensive. Bro. But don't let that keep you from coming here because it is a fantastic place. I lived here for a year and I loved it and I know you'll love it too. So anyway, if you want to learn more about visiting Finland, we've got 10 things that will shock you about visiting Finland, what you need to know before. Man, it's going to be crazy for me to you know even step to south finland it's gonna be crazy bro it's gonna really be crazy because if i leave from uh Shidankula and i go to Rov rovanami and it's so different how different will it be my goodness
all the way in the south my goodness i'm not ready for that but either ways guys uh that's gonna be the end of the video thank you for watching i'm out of here peace